We're live from the very first Washakie County Farmer's Market 2017, where all your favorite local vendors are getting set up and ready for a pancake breakfast. Be sure to come on down. Starts at 8 o'clock to 11.30 this morning. Farmer's Market. Uh, we've started today with a free pancake breakfast. I'm uh, hoping to get as many people from the community down and introduce them to our market. This year we're going to try some new things to bring people in and have fun. We want to do a lot of things that are exciting. Next weekend happens to be the National Day of the American Cowboy. And we have a gentleman who's going to come and do some roping. He also uh, does history days at our Washakie Museum, so he's going to be giving uh, some good topics. Um, I hope I have a man, I've made contact with him, who's going to bring some period uh, items down, like a Western Territory or Wyoming Territory um, saddle, Buffalo Bill jacket, and we're also going to have games for kids that day. We're going to have some uh, stick races, so uh, it's going to be exciting, and I really hope people will try us this year. Going to have a lot of new things. Come here, please, 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 there's plenty going on at the very first Washakie County Farmers Market for 2017. Be sure and come on down, check out all your favorite local vendors, meet your friends, and enjoy a pancake breakfast. Entrepreneurs, but I don't envy them. <laughs> they're street money. business oh, people. <laughs> but when their help isn't clamoring for higher wages, more pay, and shorter hours, the customers are yelling for lower prices and better service. So go figure, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. Uh, I look forward to a, a great breakfast with you this morning, and thank you, Dee, and all your crew. I'm honored to have the opportunity to officially uh, kick off another season of Farmer's Market here in Worland. I do now proclaim this Saturday, July 8th, as Farmer's Market Day, and encourage you to spend, spend, spend out there. And, uh, 
enjoy the many fine products yeah. these vendors have brought forth here today for your convenience and quality of life. Enjoy the day, and again, thank you, Dee, and all the crew that uh, you're, is working so hard to bring this to work. Thank you. Oops, sorry. You're fine. Go ahead. So what's your big seller this morning? Raspberries or the onions? The onions. There's plenty going on at the very first Washtenaw County Farmers Market for 2017. Be sure and come on down. Check out all your favorite local vendors, meet your friends, and enjoy a pancake breakfast. selection of my lotions. I have a few new lotions on my table. I've got just a plain lotion. I have also got a spicy beef, which is amazing. I'm not sure if it's to stay on my table because it is such an amazing product. I've also got my lip balms, which is for the summer. They are by fork. It's a fifth free. I have also got a discount bin where you can buy each soap for four dollars a piece or they're five for eighteen plus i got a few gift bags left so come on down to one and come see us good morning i hope you can come enjoy the incredible farmer's market here july the eighth saturday morning they might have been it's the very first one car shop coffee is a brand new product that we offer you can come over here and see the product we have a uh, fire shot gourmet coffee, the solar clips edition. Don't know if you can see that. We're going to take advantage of the solar clips, solar uh, eclipse to sell coffee. So we have several different flavors set up fire shot mo mocha, fire shot cinnamon, decaf, and then uh, coffee with no kick, and then coffee with a little kick. And the kick, by the way, is a little bit of essence of habanero. Cayenne and ghost peppers. Come on down. You're going to enjoy it incredibly. And you can buy a sample or whatever you'd like to do. And you can have a free sample. Thank you. Hi, uh, John Hake, uh, representing the Admiral Beverage Pepsi of Worland that is uh, participating in the Relay for Life this evening in Worland at the high school. Uh, we'll be going from 6 p.m. till midnight. Uh, one team member from every team that will be there is supposed to be on the track the whole time. And what we're doing is raising awareness for cancer research and funding. Uh, it's in memory of people who have lost the battle with cancer and also in honor of those who are fighting or who have conquered their battle with cancer. So today we're here with some beverages that we're selling for a complete donation, $2 a piece. We've also got raffle and we've got luminary, which you can pay $5 to have a lighted candle the whole time the the uh, event is going on. Um, it's a great cause, so people are in the area and want to stop by. We'd love to have it. There's games, prizes, food, and just good community events. So we'd love to see everybody. This is James, and he set up the Wild West 
nutshell, can you tell us all about what you have going on here? So we have um, pole bending and barrel patterns. We have sport gun shooting. No, we're racing. Roping. We're racing. I hear you ride real horses. Yes. Well, that's my cool. Great. Well, this looks like a lot of fun. Are you guys going to do it again this summer? No. Probably not. He goes home the 5th of August. Yeah. He goes back to Lincoln City. Ah. <laughs> Well, thank you, James.